Hello everyone, and it goes Snake here. Welcome back to another episode of Chills of Cold Still. Alright, so we were on Mystery... Oh, I forgot. <laughs> let's, let's go back to the fucking Student Union. Do you wish to... Yes, yes, yes. So I think I did the second one already. Um, the first two are basically... Well, there's a practical explanation for it, so maybe one of these it'll be something different. Thirdly, we have the Mystery of the Forbidden Tome. Now this one is interesting. Apparently the Academy's library houses a book containing one of the world's greatest secrets. The book is passed down from one library head to the next, all of whom are tasked with keeping it safe from prying eyes. You weren't kidding. This one is pretty interesting. <laughs> it pleases me to know that I have a partner in fascination. Just imagine if it was something about the fall of the ancient Zemirian civilization. <laughs> How romantic. The person currently in charge of the library is Instructor Thomas. Oh. <laughs> He's likely the only person who knows for sure. Oh, okay. Let's talk to him then. One of the downsides of not having talked to everybody around here is that I don't know where the fuck he is, but he's usually in uh, the second floor main building somewhere. Let's see if I can find him. Nope. Maybe he's in... Shit. Where did I go? Maybe he's... Uh... Oh, let me check around here. Okay, he's in the library right now. Where is my man at? He's he's one of the other guys that I really like in this damn in this damn game. I wonder if he has a bigger part at all, or he's just a side character. <laughs> Reen, my boy, what sorts of question has your inquiry mind come up with today? As it happens, I'm looking into something for a fellow student. Do you know anything about a forbidden tome supposedly locked away in this library? A forbidden tome? Oh my, what a fascinating idea! Just imagine if it contained details on the sacraments of the ancient Sumerian civilization. Just the same thing she said. <laughs> It'd be a grimoire, gr grim grimoire. There it is, grimoire, written by the Crossbellian, Crossbellian alchemists of the Middle Ages. Wouldn't it be thrilling if one really existed? It, yeah, it sure would. In other words, it doesn't. But what exactly inspired you to ask about this imaginary tome? Well, I'm investigating the seven mysteries of the Academy, and one of them has to do with a book full of the world's greatest secrets hidden deep within this library. Ah, so that's what this is all about. This year's story is even more absurd than the one I heard last year, but I do believe I know what you're talking about. You do? The tome the story refers to is in fact a volume of, how shall I put this, Gentlemen's special interest literature. <laughs> okay, <laughs> seriously? At least the forbidden part is right. Not because it's dangerous or anything, but because it's rather naughty. We tell you boys time after time not to bring those sorts of things into the academy, but somebody always has to try. Well, boys will be boys, I suppose. This little tale started because we gather the contraband here before we dispose of it. Well, that's one way to do things. So if you happen to have a prized collection of your own, Make sure to leave it under your mattress back home, unless you want me to find it and share what you're into with Instructor Sarah and the rest of the faculty. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> well, anyway, there's nothing especially unusual or mysterious about this library, I'm afraid. You have made it, made that abundantly clear. Thank you for your time, Instructor. <sighs> I haven't heard from him in a while, him and his swirly glass. Look at- behind his glass, he just looks really happy. <laughs> How can you not love this? He's so... He's so full of life. <laughs> Unlike me, I'm just upset about everything. Let's, let's talk to people here. You'll never believe what just happened. Crow returned to every single overdue book he had for taking so long and said, Your heartfelt pleas have convinced me to change my evil ways. I think I might have had him wrong all along. Maybe he is a good kid. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be the one to tell you this, but he just moved into our dormitory to avoid repeating a year. Moving from dorm to dorm is probably the only reason he ended up unearthing all of those books. <laughs> I should have known. I swear that crow. Why do you- Damn, why are you gonna, like, put him on the spot like that? Just- just call him out like that. Like, <laughs> what the hell, Rain? It's fucked up. I thought he'd really turned over a new leaf, too. Now I'm kicking myself for being genuinely touched by what he said. Thanks for letting me know. He's really in for it next time he passes through those doors. Cheese rain. You're not helpful at all. All right, let's see who else talking to this person. Wait, is that Yuzu's is not here? Yuzu was uh, 
He was somewhere else. I don't know where the fuck he was. I can hardly believe your class was granted an audience with his ma majesty. I thought, I thought that was just a rumor. Perhaps I underestimated all of you. Very impressive. Those two new transfer students of yours seem like odd ducks, though. I'm finding it hard to tell whether your class is made up of student prodigies or simple-minded weirdos. Okay, bitch. So we're simple-minded weirdos. Get the fuck out of here. I don't need to talk to this dude no more. I'm already upset. <laughs> okay, who dis over here? It's better be the cat, not the cat. All right. <laughs> Blah. How am I supposed to concentrate on studying when the sun is so angry at me? It's so hot that I can't even sleep at night. Sleep deprivation is really starting to get to me, too. That's really sad. Like, I'm over here thinking people are inside and it's cool inside. It might be slightly cooler, but it might be worse because it's enclosed and hot and stuffy, so... I just imagine that they're in an AC place like I am. Ugh, I can't... I can't imagine trying to concentrate on work. Alright, so let's, let's find out the next mystery, shall we? Alright, so we're on the fourth mystery. The fourth mystery tells of the hidden graves. This legend dates back 250 years. It's said that many who died in the War of the Lions lie buried beneath this academy. More specifically, their bodies are buried directly below what is now the field. W whoa is there more to the story? Oh, there's most certainly is. They say that on some cursed nights, the corpses of the buried rise from their graves to bathe in the moonlight. Okay, Thriller, alright. And when they do, their long hidden graves surface from the field, overturning it and leaving holes. Well, that ha that explains why this mystery is called the Hidden Graves, at least. But honestly, I was kind of expecting the mystery to be a little creepier. <laughs> he must be getting used to these macabre mysteries. Good. Wait, what do you mean by good? Regardless, the best people to ask about the field would be the members of the writing club. I believe the club kept is home for the summer. Perhaps you should ask Paula instead. Okay, so hopefully she is um near the field today. Okay, cool. She's out there. Right, let's talk to these, these three ladies over here. To be honest, I know how Ferris feels. The whole point of putting in all that effort is seeing how much it helped you improve. I'm curious as to how all this will turn out too. I challenge you once more, Alyssa. This time I can say with absolute certainty, certain, absolute certainty probably, that I shall not lose. Alyssa doesn't really want to be challenged though. <laughs> I knew this would happen. Ferris can hardly go two seconds without challenging me to some sort of competition. It's good to have a comp competitive spirit, right? <sighs> it wouldn't be so bad if Emily and Teresa didn't keep throwing more fuel on the fire. I don't think I have any choice but to accept at this point. Uh, no man, go fuck. I will not be doing Alyssa shit unless someone really loves Alyssa and want me to do this shit. <laughs> it's not happening. Yeah, Lambert's not here. You're Rain from Hughes' class, right? That's right, and you're Paula from class 5, I assume. This must sound weird, but I'm currently looking into these mysteries surrounding the school. Have you heard the rumor they're calling the Hidden Graves? I have. That's the one about the dead rising from the graves on the field, right? Lambert and I found a hole in the field a while back, but the only thing to come out of that was an exam with a bad grade. S seriously? Yep. Seems like someone couldn't deal with getting a score that bad, so they tried to put their test neck six reads under. <laughs> Six miles under, Robbie. Six feet under. They didn't even bury it, though. Just dug a hole and tossed it in. We filled it up since someone could have tripped. But with a grade like that, you could say the only grave our culprit dug was his own. <laughs> yeah, that joke was so bad I can't even force myself to laugh. Oh, was it a joke? <laughs> okay. That aside, thanks for the info. That was a big help. Alright, so... It was... So all these mysteries probably get in the same, right? We found a hole a while back, but the only thing hidden about it was a failed exam crumb crumbled up in there. Alright, so she's not gonna say anything different. Let's go back and find out what the next mystery is, guys. Are we having fun yet? <laughs> this is probably my least exciting quest I've done, actually, because all of these mysteries are turning out to be jack shit. And it just feels like this feels like the busiest work ever. Although the one with the newspaper and I'm just gathering sheets, uh, quotes from people that was kind of stupid too. <laughs> um, 
fifth one, we're getting close to finishing. The sports club grudge is the topic. Ooh, grudge is the topic of the fifth mystery. Given how hard the sports club trains, it's not uncommon to hear to hear screaming coming from their general direction. But some say that screams can be heard coming from something else, dwelling in the gymnasium. The rumors say that those screams are a grudge of sorts, a manifestation of all the stresses sports club members face. This one seems a bit backwards to me. Working up a sweat should wash away your stresses, not make a monster out of them. Only a select few would share that sentiment. Such ignorance of others' feelings might just lead you to an un- N. Uh, right. Yeah, Rain is pretty ignorant of people's feelings sometimes. No matter. It may be wise to ask the captain of the Fenton Club for further details on this mystery. I think her name is Friedel. Alright, Friedel. Um, let's go to the gymnasium. Let's hope she's in here. Okay, she is. Oh. I want to see what they're doing. I try to forget it, but I was a hell of a troublemaker when I first entered the academy. But then Fido came along and straightened me out with a thorough beatdown. Now that I think about it, I've never won a single match against her. Alan headed off to watch the performance by the wind orchestra. Apparently some girl he knows from Sunday school is playing in it. <laughs> I just realized why he's been trying so hard here lately. For a girl? How, how can you just go to get to those conclusions? I think she's the captain of the fencing club, right? Sorry to bother you, but could I ask you a question? No bother at all. Ask away. As it happens, I'm looking into the seven mysteries of the academy. Have you ever heard of the sports club grudge? Oh sure, people have been talking about it since I was a first year. Although I don't suppose it will gain much traction next year. Why is that? It's pretty simple really. Those screams don't come from people, but the door that used to be here. It had been in bad condition for years and used to make these awful screeching noises. So I asked for a replacement at the beginning of the month. Now everything is nice and quiet around here. Well, that explains that. Thanks for the information. You're very welcome. Wow. Those seven mysteries are rather interesting. I don't know who came up with them, but they're pretty well thought out. Uh, I don't know, some of them aren't well thought out <laughs> at all. Alright, let's head back. Another mystery debunked. They, we just call this Mysteries Debunked Edition 2. Alright, so... Shit, we're, we're on the fifth one? Okay, nah, we, we did the fifth one. Alright, sixth one. Oh my, the sixth mystery surrounds the Crimson Devil of Lake Hell. Have you paid much attention to the pond beside the gymnasium? Some say that it has a direct connection to Hell itself. More amazingly, they say a resident of Hell, the Crimson Devil, shows up at the pond from time to time. Well, that's certainly something. Any word on what it looks like? Sadly, the only descriptor I've heard is that it has two massive claws. It might be best to ask someone who fishes there often if you wish to know more about that, about this mystery. Do you know Kenneth? He's a first year in the Imperial Fishing Club. He's a noble, though. He acts as though he's not. Nevertheless, he is the club's head. Perhaps he knows something. Alright. I don't know where the fuck he is, though. But I'm gonna try out the pawn first. And see if I can find him. Uh, he is totally not there. Oh, no, he is. Okay. Oh, t oh, hello. Hey, Rain. Still fishing the good fish? I don't think that ha that's how the saying goes, but I guess you could say that. There's actually something I was hoping to ask about. Does the Crimson Devil of Lake Hell ring any bells? That's the one the Academy 7... That's one of the Academy 7 big mysteries, right? It's the only one I know, at least. Seriously though, did anyone really believe this place was connected to hell? <laughs> probably not. Any idea what the Crimson Devil part's all, all about though? That's probably a crayfish. You see them around here every so often. Yeah, I catch those too around here. That must be it. What's a crave? Are you serious? We catch those all the time, Marine. Red thing, kind of like a crab. Even has two bit claws, just like the devil's supposed to. I wouldn't be surprised if a crayfish inspired the whole thing. Yeah, especially when you put it like that. Thanks, Kenneth. Oh. The Crimson Demon of the Lake Hell is a doozy of a name for a crayfish. Who even came up with that? Alright, let's look at the trade points, because I know I got a little more points. Um, I just want to get this 
Oh, damn, I don't even have enough. Let me get the fuck out of here. Wait, let me just see if I can- Can I fish? Did they give me more? No, then. Alright. It really doesn't reset until you do a field study and come back to it. Alright, let me talk to these damn ladies. Oh my, and mercy me! Did you clone yourself, Vivi? How wonderful! Now we can work twice as efficiently! Fake Vivi can tend to that flower bed over there, and real Vivi can be in charge of getting the equipment ready. <laughs> oh, she's good. <laughs> oh my, there are two Vivis all of a sudden. Excellent, now we have more people to take care of the flowers. <laughs> she does not give a fuck. She is, she's like, yeah, let's do more work. <laughs> Vivi dragged me out here so she could play a prank on Adele, but it ended up backfiring. Now I'm stuck helping them out. <sighs> Why does this always happen to me? I mean, you could just be like, nah, man, I ain't doing that shit. My flawless plan to have my way with Adele's body had a flaw. She seemed so easygoing that you'd think she'd be easy to trick, but I guess I should have shouldn't have underestimated her. What the hell? Like Adele's body? Like can you Damn, do you know her that well or Alright, anyways. <sighs> you know how this is, guys. People of soup hormones are raging, I suppose. Even in university. <laughs> Alright, we are on the last one. Let's do this. The seventh and final mystery is that of the poltergeist in the upper class dormitory. Oh, will we be able to go into the dormitory? That'd be so cool. To be frank, I have very little information about this one. But it seems as though that the and the like are often found broken in the upper class dormitory. And people are saying a poltergeist is responsible? So it seems. Considering the mess it seems to be making, I can only imagine what the dormitory's maids would know. I can only imagine that the dormitory's maids would know something. Perhaps you should ask them for information. I will. Ah, the lady who needs the unique dishes. I can't think of a better person to ask about the upper class dorm. Excuse me, would you mind if I ask you a question? She's always sweeping the same area. Of course not, how can I help you? So, I'm investigating the seven mysteries of the academy. There's one story about a poltergeist in this dorm, but would you know if there's any truth to that? Hee <laughs> hee, I do in fact. Okay. Some of the more experienced maids tell me all about it. I've even seen it for myself. What? This is real? You, you've actually seen the poltergeist? Oh, not quite. There was a much simpler explanation behind all the havoc. As the story goes, plates are broken and utensils strewn about the kitchen, correct? But these things happen when girls try their hands at cooking for the first time. The kitchen can get very chaotic. This tends to hit its peak in May when more of them want to practice their cooking classes, but I think a poltergeist makes for a far more interesting culprit when people are sharing stories. Ah, that explains it. Thanks for clearing everything up. I'm glad I could be of help. And that's the seventh mystery elucidated. In the end, none of them turned out as spooky as I'd hoped, but oh well. I hope Burl would, won't be too disappointed. <sighs> This would be like a disappointing Halloween like themed thing. <laughs> like nothing scary happened. We're not gonna see any zombies or anything. So sad. <laughs> but there are crazy things happening in this game. I mean, people are like, oh, Poltergeist, that can't happen. There is magic in this game, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I guess for now we don't really know. Um, we see hints of magic, but right now we we're using orbital technology to replace what you know, magic usually is in DGRPG games. <laughs> it looks like you've finished your investigation. Can you tell me what you've learned? Sure, let me go through them one by one. I see. Con condensation? Magazines? A test? None of these are supernatural at all. I honestly didn't expect any of them to be real, but the truth is even more pathetic than I thought it'd be. <laughs> I agree. Although it's kind of interesting that people were able to make such fantastical stories out of perfectly ordinary things. I suppose that's true. Still, I'd like to thank you for looking into everything for me. So here you go. It's something hexed with one of my favorite curses. Oh cool, Nightmare. Th thanks. To tell you the truth, I'm a little surprised none of the mysteries had anything to do with the old schoolhouse. It seems like the perfect setting for a good ghost story. I wonder why it didn't come up. I mean, we already know there are strange monsters in there. What are you talking about? Of course it comes up, in the real seven mysteries at least. 
What? C could you say that again? I couldn't quite make that out. I didn't say a word. Perhaps her investigation has gotten to you. Oh my gosh, I could have sworn I heard her say something about the real seven mysteries. Oh well, it's probably better. Uh, uh, it's probably a better idea not to get into it. All right. Hmm. Now that's interesting. We did hear her mention this even before then that there is the seven mysteries, and then there's the real seven mysteries. It's, and I think those might have more water to it, especially if it has something to do with the schoolhouse. We all saw what happened there at the schoolhouse, guys. Mysterious, weird. Like, I got a, a weird tingly feeling up my spine when his sister, Elise, went in there and the fucking door just opened and the fact that the place keeps changing like that, it's very weird. And there has been no explanations for this shit. But let's talk to these people in here. Talk. It sounds like there might be rain this evening. At least that's what the radio said. They're not always right, but I should put, put an umbrella aside for myself just in case. I don't want to get home soaked. Sounds like it might rain this evening. Watch out that you don't get caught in it. I'm probably gonna get caught in the rain. Something's gonna happen. Like, this is the second time I've heard that, hey, it might rain, watch out. Where uh, have I heard that? Oh, I think the maid told me about the rain. So let's see. And I don't think rain paid any mind to that shit because I don't see an umbrella. Do you see an umbrella? I don't see shit. Let's get some more of these. Yeah. All right, let's talk to this lady. Milliam's a sweet little thing, isn't she? She must be pretty smart to be in her class at such a young age, too. Aside from Toa, I've never seen a Thor suit in that young. Uh, oops, I almost forgot that Toa's 18 years old. No matter what my husband says. Milliam's just a sweet girl. No matter what my husband says. <laughs> What's in your damn shop? Did you have- Oh, no. She hasn't really- added more items but it's better than the beginning of the year like you are you been feeding these poor kids tomato sandwiches all day I didn't know we we're a vegetarian school hard at work as ever I see it's no good to work all the time though sometimes you need to take a rest and enjoy something sweet in fact I know just the dessert for you let me teach you oh hell yeah teeth custard pudding oh yeah oh yeah baby let's check let's check that shit out Wow, I don't have too many recipes left. But, um, yeah, let's try this shit out. Custard pudding. Um, let's see, I'm okay, okay with that. Mm, there we go. I, of course, Marina's so middle of the way all the time. What do I need? Uh, oh, and it uses the milk. That's not good. But I have a lot of milk and I have a lot of clear gelatin from fighting people all the time. That's cool. Good thing I came in here. I might have missed, who knows, I might have missed a recipe because I don't always go in and talk to him. I always forget. <laughs> Alright, let's let's see if I can go into this place. I never can, but one day. Yeah, okay. I will never know what that looks like. Maybe next game. <laughs> no, I'm saying. Hey, the sexy book girl. Emma's taking her sweet time getting here, isn't she? I even bought along a less explicit book to share with her. Oh well, I suppose I'll just enjoy it myself while I wait for her. Ah, there's something so enchanting about all of this sweet talk. Vanilla stories have their pleasures too. Yeah, like, you know, Twilight, right? Is that vanilla? Is that what you're talking about? Like, it's not, not that explicit, but it could be... Wow, he's not even in there anymore. I feel like I saw him, like, oh no, that's right, he was at the fishing place. Duh. It's been a long time coming, but we're finally ready. Machias has trained me so well that I can confidently say I'm on par with anyone in the upper class club. All we have to do now is win and keep our club going. Um, why is it like you- I only see you two in here. Like, I don't see anyone else. Like, it's a very small club. It's been a long time coming, but we're finally ready. Makis has trained me so well that I could confidently say I'm on par with anyone- Okay. Just didn't say anything different there. Our match with the upper class chess club is starting soon. We've done all we can to prepare. Now we just need to go all out. Oh, this is not a quest. Aww. No, it is. No, it's not. He has no- He has- Wow, okay. I guess he'll just do it by himself. Oh, by the way, I'm still available to investigate the old schoolhouse if you need me. We should- we should be done with that before the match is scheduled to start. 
Of course Maki is. God damn Maki, don't say that shit to me. You know how much I like having you by my side. Um, I talked to her already, but let me just talk to her one more time. Maybe she has something else to say. Hmm. Thank you for agreeing to help me today. It was very enlightening. Part of me is curious about what she meant by the real seven mysteries, but the rest of me would rather not know. Of course not, Rain. <laughs> You're always trying to be normal all the time. Trying to be all like, oh no, don't count me in with this weirdness. Look, we all know that you can transform into Super Saiyan mode. I really want to see that shit again. I better see Super Saiyan Rain before this damn game is over with and all that much. <laughs> I'm getting impatient here, man. I I didn't see it. Like, I was expecting to see it on the last build study. I didn't even see that shit happen. Y'all, and I thought it was when we're fighting that big dragon. I was like, oh shit, he's, he's about to throw down. Nope. Wait, let's see. Where, let's go to the courtyard. Ah, here we are. Hey, Emma. What brings you here? Oh, Reen. You wouldn't happen to have seen Celine anywhere, would you? I've been searching all over for her. Celine, that's your cat, isn't it? Well, I wouldn't exactly call her my cat. She was with me just a little while ago, but then she bolted off like something caught her interest. Huh. I haven't seen her around at least, not recently. Hmm. Well, I probably shouldn't be too worried about her. She's the capricious, capricious short, capricious sort. Not unlike Milium, I suppose. She must have run off to have a little cat adventure somewhere. Yeah, I wish I look for Celine. Oh my gosh. Oh, I gotta do her. Like, I need to know where the damn cat is because I've been looking for her. <laughs> Two, man. I've been... That's that's part of my, like, side quest. Man, I'm too busy focusing on them to get any proper practice in. Come on, Monica, you've got this. At this rate, Monica should actually pull it off today. <laughs> It'll be awesome to see all of her hard work pay off. Monica has been making great strides with her swimming lately. She may even reach her goal of swimming 50 Huh. Seeing her press herself like that every day makes, you me makes me so proud to be the one who coached her. I'm glad to hear it. She's been back to her usual self ever since our field study in Heimdall. Hmm? Is something the matter? Nah, everything's fine. Should I try to help her out? Nah, this is probably the most... Like, least, like, interested one I want, I want to see. Monica will be swimming. That's the whole thing. Okay, this is it. I've got it this time. I mean, I'm sure she'll do it. Or if not, I'm sure she'll do it later on. Uh, I'm so uninterested in that shit. <laughs> oh, who this? Oh. Did you ask for permission, Rex? Damn. Now that's what I'm talking about. Nothing beats a good swimsuit picture. You better not be taking candid pictures again. N n no I've got permission this time. Now I can take all the sexy pics I want. I think he's missing the point. Okay. Well, at least he asked for permission. And he has a nice vantage point, but I feel like he should be a little closer if he wants to get the good pictures to say in. You wanna get that professional shit? Unless you got like that zoom. But zoom makes it- I don't know, I hate using the zoom feature. It sometimes it doesn't make your pictures look good. It just depends on how good your fucking picture or camera is. Alright, so I think... Okay, engineering building. I haven't been there yet. Well, here you are. Hi, Rain. Thanks for coming. Oh, hey, Toa. What brings you here? I need a little break from work, so I came along to help George and Angie. We asked her to come and help out with the request we sent you. Oh, so she's working on the bike, too? Yep, the request is pretty much the same as last time. But with one key difference, this time we'd like you to ride with Toa at your side. By my side? Don't you mean behind me? Maybe it, maybe it would be easier just to show you what we're talking about. I believe it's time for the grand reveal. Shit, I didn't mean to start doing this. <laughs> wow. Impressive, isn't it? We call this the sidecar. Much like the bike itself, this was a Ruhr Institute of Technology prototype that George put the finishing touches on. You can probably tell, but the sidecar lets other people ride along with you. Though it's much closer to riding in an orbital car than it is like being on a second bike. That's pretty interesting. So you want me to do the test ride while Toa sits in the sidecar? Yep. That- this means I'm in your care, Reen. Try not to crash or anything. R right, I'll make sure everything goes smoothly and safely. Oh, don't worry about that. George and have- 
George and I have already done all the necessary safety tests. The goal of this test is to get a fresh perspective, just like last time. That's right, be sure to give us as much feedback as you can. That goes for you too, Toa. Okay. So do you have the time to go for a ride? Hmm. Sorry, Reen, I'm always keeping you so busy. Oh, don't worry about it. How about... How about you, though? Do you have time? You seemed pretty busy yesterday. Thanks for worrying. But I'm fine. I got most of the harder work started out yesterday. Which means I've got time to spare today. As you can see, George and I are ready to go whenever you are. We'll work to your schedule today. Thank you. Well then. I still have a few more things to take care of, so is it okay if I come back once they're done? Of course. See you soon, I hope. Alright. I wasn't ready for that shit. <laughs> um, I still haven't talked to everybody in the main building. And I'm probably, I'm probably not going to do that today anyways, because this episode's running kind of long. Much, most of the upper class students have returned the, to their homes. The official word is that it's, it's to learn how to manage their family territory, but it's essentially their summer vacation. Those who are particularly passionate about their clubs or their studies have chosen to remain here, however. Returning home to learn about territorial management is permitted under ac academy regulations as long as you are noble. Permitted, but not required. Many upper class students remain here to continue their studies or club activities. Alright, so I feel like she's said that before. <laughs> I feel like her dialogue hasn't changed at all. Alright, so let's talk to this person in here. Is this mirror always here? Hmm. Fee's been acting far more approachable of late. Perhaps she's made friends she can really trust. Aw, oh, the joys of youth. It's ever so slight, but Fee seems to have changed since her arrival. Perhaps she made some friends that she can trust? Truly, youth is such a splendid thing. Alright. People talking about youth all the time. Can't stay young forever, though, as they say. I'm sure this game would drag it out for a long time. <laughs> this is what we did in year two, and we have a whole game about it. <laughs> kind of like Ash, who doesn't age. So, the vice principal sat me down and forced me to take care of all this paperwork that's been piling up. Can you believe he's, he'd force a sweet, delicate maiden like me to bust my buns in this ridiculous heat? I have a sneak suspicion you only have yourself to blame there. Just you. <sighs> All I want is to finish this and head straight to the nearest bar. It's so hot. All I want is to finish this and head straight to the nearest bar. Guys, if you're dehydrated, alcohol will not help you at all. It probably makes shit worse. But hopefully she knows this. <laughs> New methods of communication and product distri distribution have been incorporated into Western Zamira's e economy in recent years. As a result, the need has arisen to discuss and enact new legislation accommodating these changes. I am certain that this will be one of the key topics at the West Zamira Trade Conference at the end of the month. Well, alongside other important economic and commercial matters, of course. <clears throat> I recommend reading the news on a regular basis. It's a source of ample and interesting information. For his faults, Vice Principal Hen Heinrich is pretty good at making complicated topics easy to understand. The trade conference will likely have a massive impact on everyone in Western Zemiria. <clears throat> I recommend reading the news on a regular basis. Okay, I read that part. Oh, he's not being a bitch here. Is he? Is this like a bow or a barrette here in the back? <laughs> his hair is so tiny when he does that. <laughs> oh my god. It's sexy Nightheart gazing distantly through the window. I'm sure I would have made that sentence. I can't do sentences on the fly, guys. All right. It's been nearly half a year since you all entered this academy. Am I right to assume that you're all accustomed to it? I'd say so. We've had some troubles along the way, but everyone in class seven is finally getting along. We have had some interesting missions to the class, though. Uh, Instructor Nightheart? I hope you will perform to the full extent of your capabilities during your next field study. That's all. You are dismissed. Hold on a sec, are they planning something? You're, um, so we know from what from that scene that Nightheart and Sarah, Professor Sarah, Instructor Sarah, they they are all there's something brewing right now. There are many things that you will you've all yet to learn. Make sure to perform at your highest level during your next field study. It's more than a little ominous. What could they have in store for us? That makes me so excited, guys. Oh my god, I really wish I had more time 
or that I could do more episodes more quickly, but I just, I had so much homework to do that I'm doing this pretty late at night, so... Because I don't want to have a week where I, I don't have any videos out coming out, but man, it's very difficult to do all this. And also still go to school and also have a full-time job. <sighs> I don't know where I find the time for this shit. Alright, let's, let's talk to the last person on this damn floor. I've got a little trick that keeps me healthy all summer. All you need to do is drink nice hot co- It is at its hottest. You ought to give it a hot- try- Yeah, you ought to give it a shot yourself. What? What is that supposed to do? Warm drinks are the key to staying healthy during the summer. The weather alone won't make you sweat out all the- all the bad stuff. Hey, don't knock it until you tried it. Huh. That's interesting. I have had hot things when it was hot or cold things when it was cold. As a, it wasn't terrible. I was like, oh man, what am I doing? But it it was okay. <laughs> Rooftop. Maybe the cat is here. Please let the cat be here. The cat is not here. <laughs> but she's here. This is another cat. Never know. Hmm. I want it to cool off here, but it looks like it's gonna rain. What a drag. Really? But it's just a feeling I have. Sharon said the same thing when I was heading out. Now that I think about it. Oh well. Might as well stay here while it's still hot. Everyone's telling me how it's gonna rain. I guess it's gonna rain. Aw oh, man, guys. I cannot wait to start that field study. I can't wait to like- I got, I'm trying to get everything done here, guys. I'm trying to catch all the recipes. I'm trying to catch all the books. You know what I'm saying here, guys. Um, I think I've talked to everybody. And this might be a slightly longer running episode. Oh, she was like, what's happening? Alright, I think I just walked downstairs. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, I do have, um, something to tell you guys. Um, so I was thinking about, not thinking, but I just want to let you guys, I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to start coming out with the no commentary version of this playthrough, starting from episode one. That's going to be a long project. I'm already on episode 97? 96 summer is all it's almost a hundred episodes in and I wish I had started that from the very beginning because I do know that people like to watch mm. these games without having someone commentating over it so I'm gonna have two versions um which won't be I mean it's not like I'll be creating a whole new thing it's just I'm gonna take my voice off of it but I, I'm also gonna have to go in and take out parts where where I'm just talking so I'm basically gonna uh, chop up even more um, what I've already taken out <laughs> is there'll be parts where I'm just talking or the game is game is paused like this so this would be a part that I would cut out so if you're interested in seeing a no commentary version just know that it's coming out at some point very a slow trickle so if you're subscribed to my channel if you like uh, it, if you're subscribed to the point where you get notifications, you might start to see more notifications. I don't know when I'm going to start doing this. Probably right. um, after classes are over. That shouldn't be too long. Like maybe in a few months I'll start doing this because there's no way I have time to do this shit right now. <laughs> Good God. I, I have no time when I get home. I'm so tired when I get home. And I still got to do homework. <laughs> and it takes me entirely too long to do half the shit at school. Like the counting is getting intense. The counting is just, I, it's only two classes, and it's just, it's so hard. I love numbers, but this is numbers differently. Like, this is not just pure math. This is, uh, you now have to learn accounting concepts. And I don't know if I'm understanding everything, especially when it comes to bonds and interest payments and shit like that. But I am rambling. I cannot wait for the next field study. Right. I can't wait for Rain to power his ass up again. We all need to see white haired rain again okay this this is the whole point of this game right this, <laughs> um and we don't even know everything about it and all we know is that crow knows about it rain knows about it but he may not know everything about it um and i'm curious to see what the fuck is going on so even though we had an episode where they talked about how this class is for formulated we and you know who the chairman are who's pulling the strings and shit. And clearly even like the right. majesty, his majesty is also um, involved in this somehow. But we don't know everything. They do keep things to themselves and we're just kind of on a need to know basis. It's not very transparent. So even knowing 
with the origins of the people who are involved with the class 7 we still don't know everything we don't know what their intentions are what they plan to do and i sure hope we don't have any character deaths or anything like they're being all serious my heart's being serious about this so i sure hope you know nothing too bad happens i don't think there would be a, a character death this early in the game but um all right guys as always can't wait to see you next time bye bye <laughs>